we can create win-win when we buy fair and we get access to the commodity, to the plastics. So that's principle number one. Principle number two is local value addition. In many commodities, even today, local value addition doesn't happen as we would like to. And many commodities, actually, the value addition happens outside of where the commodity is coming from. And for us, from day one, it was very important that we create local value. Now, when we started this journey, we didn't know how we're going to do it. You know, we only were guided by two principles. And so we started Mr. Green Africa with the community. And what you see here witnessing is, again, from within. Yeah? We didn't know how far we're going to go and how easy it's going to be to transport plastics uh, from Turkana all the way to uh, Nairobi. But we, we, we um, co collaborated, we talked with the community, and we explored how can it be done. And this is just witnessing, again, today, that it's possible. If we come together, civil society, private sector, government, and the community, we can make something happen in a more sustainable way. So Mr. Green is a company that existed uh, since uh, 2014 with uh, the agenda of recycling plastic. So what we do, we reclaim plastic that has been churned out into the society. We uh, recycle it into what we call post-consumer recyclates, then we deliver it back to manufacturers so that they don't have to import more virgin plastic to manufacture plastic uh, products and plastic packaging. So Mr. Green um, has instilled a model, or rather developed a model that works, that as much as we recycle, we continue engaging the guys at the grass, grassroots, the guys who reclaim this waste, the guys who are the stars of the show, but never, are never really given um, the, the, the credit. Yeah? So Mr. Green's model uh, pretty much works on dignifying waste collection, uh, you know, empowering waste collectors. So at the end of the day, there is some sort of transformation from, you know, them feeling like they are a vulnerable group or an ignored group to someone who's very empowered, someone who understands what recycling is, how they can earn a decent income from that, and how they can also evolve into entrepreneurs. I am Mary Lodio, Mkazi wa Kakuma, na fanya biashara na Mr. Green Africa. Mi na nunuanga i plastics apo kabohorit, na nunulia kwa waste pickers, kuna wenyu walitreiniwa. Ok, kuna wenyu walitreiniwa, wanaleta nini, hizi mzigo, kwa wantu naitanga mzigo wananileteanga na nunua nashukuru sana hii kampuni ya Mr Green kuja hapa Kakuma imetusaidia sana kama mimi kwanza kibiashara walitusaidia na weighing scale simu ya kufanya naye kazi alafu tena naona mazingira si mbaya watu wanaokota hizi wanapata pesa kupitia hizi hii waste yenyewe wanasema hii uchafu wanapata pesa kupitia hiyo hii waste nashukuru sana Mr Green um, my name is yeah, I'm Simon Zioka, uh, Country Director for the Nishiro Kanzo in Kenya. Uh, one of our thematic areas uh, is climate change and uh, resilience. That what we are working in communities in the various counties in Kenya. Uh, we thought it was wise for us to, to start in some of the counties that uh, have also progressed in terms of uh, policy and also infrastructure of uh, climate, climate change and also looking into plastics. Uh, the reason that we chose Trukana because we've also had a very good work relations uh, with the county uh, and also with the national government. Regarding the, 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 what we are launching today, uh, as Danish Refugee Council, we are working closely with uh, Mr. Green Africa, uh, one of uh, the uh, companies in this space uh, who are renowned in Africa, and also Unilever, which is known uh, globally. And of course, working with the communities and also the local NGOs to to ensure that uh, we support the communities uh, through various means to ensure they can also keep the environment clean. 